hard for you. Jesus Christ is a f human face of God. And uh, without Jesus Christ, I would not believe in God. Looking at the catastrophes of nature and the human catastrophes of history, I would not uh, come off the, uh, on the idea that a God exists and this God is love. This was unthinkable for me. As a but with Jesus Christ and his message and his suffering on the cross and his resurrection from the cross, uh, my feeling that God is present in the midst of suffering is uh, a firm trust of my heart. So you're not speaking right now <coughs> simply as a theologian. You're speaking from personal experience of yeah. discovering or being discovered by God. Yeah. When you were, can you say more about this experience? Well, when... which, was, which was experience of anxiety, uh, aftermath of terror, uh, a place where joy normally would not to find its uh, entrance? Well, when, when I was 16, I was drafted to the German army in 1943 and uh, experienced the destruction of my hometown, Hamburg. Uh, in, the, in the midst of Hamburg, there was an anti-aircraft battery and we uh, schoolboys had to serve in this battery and uh, where the operation called by the British was the operation Gomorra, the destruction of the sinful city of Hamburg and I was in the midst of it and at that time I cried out to God for the first time. Uh, and later, I uh, was in prison, uh, in a prison camp in Scotland. And uh, there I read with consciousness for the first time the Gospel of Mark. And when I came to the uh, cry with uh, which Jesus died, my God, why has so forsaken me? I felt that there is a divine brother who feels the same as my feeling was at that time. And uh, this uh, saved me from self-destruction mm -hmm. and uh, desperation. And so uh, I came up with hope on a place where there was no expectation to come home soon. Uh, we, we were, uh, the imprisonment lasted for three years. <laughs>